Hi everyone, this video is for Isabel. She emailed me, She's having. she has been having some problems because she's got this project for her baby Daphne, right? Isabel, I know your um, file, your original file looks a little bit different. Since I don't have the font, I just changed it. I, I just want to show you um, the whole process, right? So this is your file. This is almost is exactly like the one you sent me. Um, all I did was, just as I would usually do, I would click on File, Export, then export the file as a PNG. I'm going to save that in my desktop. And make sure the background is transparent. I will save my file at the highest resolution and make sure it's art optimized. And I'm just going to hit OK. Um, yeah, I already had it, so I'm just going to click rep Replace. And once that is done, of course, I'm going to go to Split, to the Split Studio, and I'm going to look for the file, which is right there, and I'm going to click and drag. Good. And there's your file, right? Then I'm going to go ahead and select Trace Area, and I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do the very first two, and I'm going to play with the high pass filter hmm. and just make sure I get it no 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 too far let's see if this works let me zoom in oh great perfect let me zoom out again select that copy and paste and I'm just gonna move that I mean you can just um select the whole thing and save the whole copying and moving but I'm going to do the same thing for the last two since this right side is different I'm going to play with the threshold a bit there you go and I'm going to trace the outer edge it worked perfectly for this one not quite it's good for the right one, so I'm going to release the compound path. I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to go ahead and select the trace area. And I guess this works perfectly fine. Yeah, those will work a lot better. I'm going to click once more and select, I mean, on trace outer edge again. Yeah, that worked perfectly. Good. Once you've done that, then you've got to go ahead and click on uh, registration marks and I'm going to add that. There you go. I do like to position as furthest to the left, top and right. I don't move the bottom inset because my printer will not print the registration mark completely if I move that so that's why I do not move the bottom one but this depends on your printer um, and then I'll just go right ahead and print that while editing the video I discovered that part of my um, drawing or artwork is not inside the registration marks and maybe that's why the silhouette didn't cut it perfectly but just make sure you check that before printing and of course I placed it in my cutting mat I aligned it nicely to the top left side. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Since I make sure that you didn't move the registration marks after you printed out anything, right? Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna select copy paper because this is just a trial, but you can go ahead and select that accordingly. Maybe you've got sticker paper or heat transfer and so on, right? And I'm gonna send to select. Once you print, uh, click on Send to Silhouette, the machine is going to read the registration marks before cutting. My blade is going a little bit dull, that's why it ripped up here a bit but yeah it works to perfection but you will get a bit of white um, 
but this is more than perfect. So I hope this helped. Um, if you've got any other questions, don't hesitate to email me or comment or anything. Thank you.